they they will understand. Of course, mm. lovely people. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's begin. Broadcast section and <laughs> James from Sky Sports. James. Uh, Maurizio, no European football might be disappointing for Chelsea fans, but for you, has this week felt a bit like a blessing in disguise having a full week with your squad? Yes, because I think for us uh, it's about to recover players from the injuries and players that were out of uh, um, in the international break. Um, yeah, for us in the circumstance, I think it's good to have time to work. I think it was a very good week. We work really, really hard with the players that we have, and then uh, time to recover players. If you are involved in competition, like an European competition, it's difficult. And of course, it's a time that uh, for the fans, of course, is difficult because uh, normally Chelsea is a club that is involved in the European competition, but at the moment, because of the circumstances, we are not. Uh, and I think we need to take advantage of the, of the situation. But some positive news for Chelsea fans, or can you bring some positive news on the injury front? Moises Caicedo, Noni, Manuaki, uh, Mark Kukrea, all back. For well, Moy, we need to assess Moy tomorrow. He was um, training in an individual way, not with the team until today. Uh, we need to assess tomorrow and see if we can be involved on uh, Sunday. Mark uh, suffered a, a fever and he's, he's back from after the, when we restart the training. Uh, Noni was involved also during the week in training. I think, yes, and maybe. Maybe uh, we need one day more, maybe Brosha. Armando can be involved, maybe Sunday, but it's not sure. We need to assess him tomorrow. Yes, we need to recover player and see it's important that many names and players start to be available to be involved in the game. Many names, going to throw another one at you, Benoit Balashal. There were reports that he'd suffered a bit of a setback, is that right? Yeah, but was he in different, different muscle, different Thing, but it was a minor, it was a small, it's training with Riz James, I've seen uh, Riz and Chukomeka also, Chalova, they are very close to, again, to be involved with the, to start um, in, with the team to start to train. Now on to Sunday, back at Stamford Bridge, first time in three weeks. The fans have been showing a bit of discontent recently. I know you spoke and you understand how they feel frustrated. You're frustrated you're not having yeah. your you know, starting first team out because of the injury situation. But how important is it now to get the fans on the side starting at Stafford? I am, but, oh look, I say like this, like no. Uh, I am, uh, no, I, I, I really believe, I really believe, I really believe that they, they are going to be behind us, uh, for sure. Um, it's normal. <laughs> when you don't win, uh, all are disappointed. And like I, I like I told after in my press conference, it's normal that they show the, the the feelings and the emotions. Cannot be happy after a draw in Bournemouth, um, even for us and for the player. But uh, yes, we need to understand our our circumstance. And I'm not going to say that they need to understand our circumstance because fans are fans and they want to win always. But for sure, we are going to feel the support. They are going to be in behind the the team. The player need the support because they need to perform. And I see with our people in behind, they are going to support better if we don't have this energy from the from the club. And finally, for me, uh, Conor Gallagher spoke about how he was how, how he found out he was Chelsea captain last week by lifting his shirt up on his spot in the changing room, seeing the captain's armband. Is that something you've done previously? And what was it about Conor? That made you no, but he was captain again Wimbledon also. I think it's not new. I think, I think he's known. supposed he's supposed to be to be captain. But it's good to create a good history, we know. But uh, sometimes players, but it's nice. It's nice. But the thing is, but it's normally if you see the starting eleven of uh, um, on Bournemouth, I think he was also the captain again Wimbledon. It's not a surprise, I think, and then it's not a big thing. To you know, uh, to create a party, but uh, yes, I think he can be a captain. He is from here, from Chelsea. He's a, f came through the academy, and and I think it's perfectly for him to you know to represent the 
the teammate. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. Chris, Hi, Chris. Chris. Uh, you'll be up against Unai Emery on Sunday. Your relationship with him goes back many years. Are you friends or is there a slight rivalry there between you? No, I think we have a very good relationship. I think we start, you know, to he started to coach before than me because he was very in very early days to to be a coach. I was after, but I always we start to play when I was in Spain and then in different clubs in Europe. And yes, I think he's a great coach, great coach, and I think we have a very good relationship with him and with all the coaching staff of of Aston Villa. I think it's going to be great to see him. I think is I don't want to be you know um, to take advantage of this situation, but I think we are not because we didn't deserve to be on, involved in, in the Europa League. I think they have very good squad, um, very good players, and I think it's, they are prepared to to compete in Europe and Conference League like they are involved. But uh, I think is for us because of the circumstances. I think it looks like. A, we only, you know, we have uh, 15 players, uh, and then we need to to use uh, three, four players from the uh, through the academy. And I see at the moment because of the circumstance, looks like okay, we are, it's not enough. But um, yes, I think uh, we were talking. We we need time, and and of course um, we are going to be competitive when. The moment I write that all the players will be involved again in the in the training and helping the the team. They got to rest a number of their first team players last night, um, but come Sunday, do you think that it is a good opportunity for Chelsea to get another win against Aston Villa? Always is a, an opportunity. I think it's it's a really important game for us. Um, I think we we need to win. We need to uh, to keep going, playing, uh, playing well because I think we are. Playing well, uh, but last in the last few weeks, I think we need to be more clinical in front of the goal and and to uh, approve the the chances that we create and and convert in in goals. No, the chances. I think that is the most important thing in football because I think we are in all the data uh, on the top four. Um, it's difficult to find some data that you say no, Chelsea is not on the top, but. After in the efficacy in front of the goal, you know, is is we are in the bottom, and that is why uh, we don't have the the point that we deserve. But football is, you cannot say deserve or not deserve. It's, it's about to win games. John, Hi, Richard. Hi, Brian. are you finding it frustrating watching your team at the moment? Because you know what you want, but it's not it's not happening, and it might not happen for for some time given the players who are out there. No, I am not frustrated because I seen. See, if we talk about performance, I see the team is uh, performing well. The performance, we cannot complain about the performance of the team with different players and missing many, many key players also on the on the team. Um, I, I'm not frustrated. I am disappointed because I've seen many teams with less score more, you know, and <laughs> that is is what is the feeling, is that is why we feel bad. Um, because the players deserve more, the team deserve more. But the only way um, to find what we want is keep pushing, keep playing, keep uh, doing the thing that the right thing that we are doing, replicate again and again and again and again every single game. I think I am so happy in the way they felt after Bournemouth and of course after Nottingham. They really care about the club. They really care about the to win the games. They really care about you know to perform better and and to win games. And I think this week was was good to you know to work really hard and and create good atmosphere uh, every single day to try to after uh, to translate to the competition. And you're confident the goals are going to come. It has been a problem here for for quite some time. Scoring goals, Brody, you say, is close to coming back. Can he be the the answer? Sorry. The Broja. Yeah, but we, it's the same situation. Uh, but we, maybe we can talk about many, many uh, players. I think Broja arrive and will maybe will be involved the weekend. But it's after I don't want to say nothing wrong. But nine, eight months that it's not competing. Um, 
Yeah, we cannot put the responsibility on him. The always the responsibility should should be or must be the the team, the collective effort, and it's not only the the offensive player need to score. We need to try to score all the players that are involved in the team. But I think we cannot expect that Brocha arrive and in you know if you have the possibility to play, he's going to score in every single touch. I think he needs time also to. Um, to feel the competition and start to perform in, in the way that I think we expect that he can perform. And how's the owner, Todd Bowley? Do you speak to him regularly? What's, what, what are his feelings <coughs> on the start of the season? Are you in constant contact with him? Bueno, we, uh, with Todd, but also with with the dad and with the sporting director. We are in contact. Yes, normally yes. And I think normally they are they are supporting the project uh, and they are also not disappointed because I seen the performance. We, I think, we share the same ideas about that. The performance is not is good, um, but we need to score goal if we want to win the game. Last question in this section, Simon Johnson. Hey, Richard. Hey, hello, Simon. Uh, Nicholas Jackson, four yellow cards, one drink, one yellow away from a ban. Have you have you had a worry? I think we've all been to dissent, and you clearly can't afford to be losing him. I told today, we were talking about that uh, but today because we were in a meeting with him and also Enzo, I think, come on, uh, and a striker for yellow car to, you know, to, to ask the, the, the <laughs> to protest, no, to, to talk with the, only for talk for the, for the referee, I think, you need to get some uh, yellow car because in different action, but not because of that, it's so easy, so cheap, you know, Yellow cards, and I think it's going to uh, to put in a very difficult situation to to the team. But he understood. But uh, we were talking about Brocha, but Jackson is 21 also, and he's young. Need, need to learn, need to improve, need to settle his, himself. I think he's a fantastic player. He's going to be a fantastic player, but need time. Was one one friend today uh, with us and said, "Oh, we were talking about the player." I said, hey, uh, like I like always to do some similar, you know, sim similarity with another club. They say, oh, but uh, Jackson is a fantastic player. Yeah, 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 but he need to be calm and relax in front of the goal, and for sure he's going to score a lot of goals. He say, yeah, but remember, Vinicius arrived, and after three season or two season and a half, he start to perform. And always we forget that we are talking about young players. Of course, you can blame us, blame me, and you can talk about tactics. We can, but they need time. They need time to settle. For me, it's no doubt that we have the talent, amazing, amazing talent on the on the team. But now they need time to settle, and for sure they are going to start to perform in the way that we expect. Do, do you think the dissent? But he need to be clever that not to, yeah. you know, to protest and to the to the referees in do this way. Just quickly to add on, do you think that that's a sign of his frustration? Well, maybe because this is his normal uh, behave, no, on the pitch. Like, it's a thing that maybe need to improve. The, maybe this season changed the rules. He came from Spain, it's different. You know, the relationship with the referees here in England now changed and it's more sensitive, the people, about this. Ah, it's all about to adapt to himself and he's clever and he, for sure he, he will adapt. Hope that Sunday not get <laughs> we are talking about that he's clever and then <laughs> first action, yellow gun. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it there. Hope, hope for a different reason, eh? Cameras off please. Thank you.